The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. May even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings.
I have lost the spell. How do you do? Greetings. No! It is gone! My weapon does nothing! How do you do? Damn. Lost the spell. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Greetings. I cannot cast it! This weapon does nothing. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell! Greetings. Ugh, my spell! What does it take to kill these things? Greetings. Well, that didn't work. How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining Dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, Precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. Can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy?
You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold calf teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the Diamond Quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. She can do whatever I tell her, even if that means walking into the King's own palace naked. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. That's what everyone likes, a castless with a big mouth. But I didn't come for the joy of your company. I've been looking at my investments, and this one hasn't borne much gold. I'm giving you another week, precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Everyone needs me. Because everyone has things they want in my carter, we're the ones who provide. Until you can do that, you're nothing but my errand boy. So shut up and do as you're told. Good guess. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. Just be careful about showing him. You've been lucky so far. He thinks it's funny when you and Lesky get vulgar. Some of the nobles I've met... They'd as soon have your head for speaking your mind. That's why I didn't tell you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can smuggle up lyrium and smithcrafts, and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. As far as the nobles are concerned, he still stinks of Dust Town. He's got money now, but you can't buy caste, you know? No noblewoman would risk a dalliance with him. His only chance to join a noble family is to claim kinship with the concubine who bears a noble son. And that's what he wants more than anything. Don't you? 
Imagine what it would be like not to have people look at us like we're sewer sludge. To think our lives are worth something. It wouldn't be the first time. Geralt on the Blood Risen was born castless, you know, before he went to the surface. And he came back and won the throne. Many paragons have humble origins. All that matters is that the Assembly recognizes their achievements. And once they get that vote, they found their own house, and are as noble as if the ancestors themselves had made it so. So what are you standing around here for? Go do something great. Oh, don't pay attention to her. She's just a bitter old drunk. She also said you'd never learn to walk or stop dumping in the bed. Make something of yourself just to spite her. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. I have little love for the nobles, but they know, more than we ever will, what the Darkspawn have taken from our kind. Every noble I've met has had a brother or a nephew killed in the deep roads. Yet they let their arrogance blind them to the fact that we could help defend the city against the Darkspawn. Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can- And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection. Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble cast to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. You've worked hard to keep him from throwing us out. I can only imagine the horrible things he's made you do. But... There are a lot of desperate dwarves in Orzammar. He could buy any one of them to run messages and knock skulls. Money gives him power. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection. So the guardsmen didn't care. Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. It and once they get that vote, they found their own house, and are as noble as if the ancestor- oh. Make something of yourself just to spite her. Maybe you will. But until then, we can only serve as Barat demands. And he won't like it if either of us is late. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. All right. Yes. Going. And I'm off. Hmm. Uh... 
Uh, who's that? Why are you bothering me? Rika? Don't you talk to me like I'm an idiot! Do you think I don't know my own kid? What are you doing here, anyway? Rika said you were finally making something useful of yourself. She's got the body. Might as well use it before a couple of kids twist it out of shape. Take her! You think I need you here? You think I need anyone? Make yourself useful and pick me up another bottle while you're out. About sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. But no hot-blooded dwarf can help himself. Those perfect lips, just made to be screaming my name. You must have had a few naughty thoughts yourself, huh? What do you say? You know I'm kidding. It's strictly hands-off with me and Rika. But as much as I'd love to keep chatting, we'd better get down to business. No such luck. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias. Some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone... Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. You looking for a place to sleep? There's a vent behind Givast's. You don't mind if you... Hey, hey there, Carter boy. Care to try a taste of this? Two bits for the needy. I see you around. You one of them Barat boys. You don't know from needy. Not until you're my age. You think Barat's going to watch you when you're old? Soon as your muscles go, it's the clean crew of the streets for you. You're like me, boy. No woman's gonna let you in her sheets, not as long as your face is branded. Only place for you to end up is here. Watching some castless upstarts refusing to share their coy. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, soldier. You looking for someone to shine your shoes, clean your pots? Keep you warm at night. Is that what you're looking for? That's worth ten bits, no?
Go ahead. Beat up an old man if it makes you feel better. I seen your man at Tapsters. I was waiting out back, but they wouldn't tip me the dregs off the ale barrel. Said it was going to compost. But I saw another brand there with his surface money, and they served him. Called him Ascaius, sir. You think I got that close? Tavern keepers, they know all I have to pay with is dirt. Now get out of here, you're scaring off the other pockets. Alms, alms for the... Please, I told you everything I know. Just leave me alone. Who the dust do you think you are? I don't need no sodding help from some... Spare silver? Friend, My boy needs medicine. What are you doing here, Brand? Get lost, Brand. I have no coin to give you. Lesky, you old scamp. What are you doing here? Trying to charm me out of another set of ribbons for your girl? Trying to talk you into being my girl, Olinda. You know my heart's breaking for you. Don't you go saying that around my husband. Who's your friend? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Just don't touch anything if you can't meet the price. Have you heard? King's got a team who found traces of Bronca in the deep roads. Oh? Found her body, did they? No, tools. Signs of camp, things like that. Paragon or not, Bronca's dead. She's been gone two years. No one survives the deeps that long. Hey, boy. You look like someone who could use a spare copper. What do you say? No work, just money for something you're not even using. Much. You look like you've still got all your teeth. Nice and healthy. I craft replacements for nobles who have lost theirs. I can pay you real handsome for some of those. One silver for two. What do you say? You won't get a better price. I'm in demand, top tooth and wig shop off the Diamond Quarter, four years running. There are some who just take what they want off someone like you. I'm offering an honest deal. What do you say? No work's legitimate if they let you do it, boy. The Assembly declared back in Darbir's reign that it insults the Ancestors for castless to perform any work. 
the recognized lineages can do. Now do you want it or not? One and a half silvers, and that's my best offer. Gracious apologies, Master. We were just leaving. Right now, forgive my friend. You know the vent fumes. They mess with the mind. We're very sorry to bother you. Now let's get back before you land us both in a cell. Offer withdrawn. I'm sure I'll find some other brand who's happy to have it. Great prices on all arms and armor, like they were crafted by the Paragon Smith Broncohurst. Sod off, brand. I don't have Do you mind? I have nothing you can afford, and as long as you're here, no one else will come. Same as you. It's illegal for me to walk here without one. I'm from the surface, so by the law of assembly, I'm castless. But I think of the brand as just a part of the license to vend my wares. I use a washable ink, and when I return home, it's gone first thing. I cannot imagine wanting to wear the beastly thing every day. You certainly don't choose to live any other way. If you were on the surface, you could open a shop, claim land, and start a farm, and get legally married by the human chantry. Orzammar is the only place in the world that will treat you like this. Yet you all stay. I'll never understand it. There is no caste on the surface. Every dwarf there is a foreigner, so we all help each other. It always seems sad to me that our homeland is the one place in this world where you're likely to be killed by a fellow dwarf. Now unless you're gonna buy something, I need to unload and get home before the rain sets in. That's water from the sky, by the way. Fine, but try to steal anything and I'm calling the guards. What are you two doing back here? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Just don't touch anything if you can't meet the price. This place is going to the nugs. Watch yourself! The Shaper doesn't need your footprints all over his clean clothes. We'll stand further back. I'm not gonna risk my position by having someone see you near his robes. After my mother took five years of her personal time sewing fine dresses for the headmaid at the Shaperette, Mother tells me they never considered a single other candidate when the position opened for Underwasher. It's barely under the king himself. They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a Shaper's presence. Whatever horrid deviants you're descended from were written out of the histories and deemed unworthy to join the ancestors. Obviously, they bred anyway, but their children can't possibly deserve the same protections as those who were legitimately born. They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a Shaper's presence. I am not castless. I am an honorable member of the Servant Caste. I serve my betters as is my place, decided by the ancestors who granted my mother my birth. I am not a criminal. 
Get away from me. I'll tell my father you tried to violate me. I would sooner lie with a nug. Barat won't want to see us without proof that Surfacer's dead. Go back to your dirt pile, scum. I assume this pile of worthless junk belongs to you? If you realize it's in the way and that the patrols will not be able to come through, move it, or I shall have it thrown out in the deep roads, and you with it. I'm so sorry, my lord, but they told me to move my goods over here. I, I couldn't even set up shop in my usual place. Nonsense. It's true. Uh, they said that the servants needed to polish the floors on that side of the commons in preparation for the new commander's first commission. Hmm, yes. The new Idukan commander's feast is tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, I suppose it can't be helped then. Very well. You may leave your goods here for now, merchant. But move them out of the way as soon as you can. I hope he comes back soon. I don't want to inconvenience anyone. That side of the commons is closed for now. Be on your way. They should send someone to pick up the trash. Turn around, Brand. No castless on the grounds. I think what my friend meant to say is we were just leaving. What were you thinking? No castless are allowed at the proving. Ancestors were smiling on my bets today. Another round from the house. We won't get very far if you keep stopping to chat. What's up? Well, you know my suggestion. Go where the ale is. Man's a surfacer, so all he usually gets is that swill they make from grain or whatever. When he comes to Orzammar, he'll head straight for the real thing. Lichen malt. Straight up. Eight bits of tumbler. Hmm. <laughs> My best guess would be to find where he's hiding, drop a few names, and maybe a knife. Then, when he's pissing his breeches, search him. Then we take back any gold or lyrium he might have been skimming. I'm sure you can figure out what comes next. My father's birthday gift to me. Same as you. They say the original castless were criminals whose houses disowned them or folks who insulted the ancestors by leaving for the surface. But most of us now, we're just the poor fools whose parents were dumb enough to bear us. Because the nobles can't imagine anyone wanting to live anywhere but here. They don't want anybody polluting Orzammar with Skyr's ideas, so they say if you come back, you come back castless. Far as I hear, humans have their lords and their peasants and everyone hates the elves. But to them, all dwarves look alike. That face brand, they don't even notice it. Because the nobles can't imagine. They don't want anybody polluting Orzammar with Skyr's ideas, so they say if you come back, you come back castless. Hey, what Lesky don't know about the card is not worth knowing. Unless you're maybe higher up and you know things I don't. The way I hear it, he just stepped up. Plenty of smuggling went on before. But Barat put it all under his protection and spread around enough coin and muscle to back it up. He practically has a private army on his estate. And he's bought enough guardsmen that no one ever looks. 
Smuggling, mostly. A lot of stuff grows up top that folks down here got no other access to. And the skyers up there will give them by the wagon in return for gold or some shiny magic lyrium. If I knew that, you think I'd still be running the streets with you? But seriously, be careful. You try to get Barat's attention by being too good, he'll think you're a threat and dump you in the deep roads. Stay too quiet and he may decide you're worthless and do the same. Half the cast listen Orzammar seems like. I haven't met most of them. Barat doesn't like the grunts to get too cozy. Jarvie is his main lieutenant this month. She practically runs the estate. And I hear he's been drilling her mine, if you know what I mean. Now you're showing some sense. Come on. No castless. Who the dust are it? Oh, uh, my mistake. I didn't realize you were one of his. I, uh, I'm not looking for any trouble. We hear you're harboring one of the boss's former friends. He, he's right over there. Ascaius, right? He's got that look about him. Surfacer and all. Uh, you're free to drink here any time, and uh, whatever else you gotta do. Just uh, try and keep it neat. I'm still paying for this space. Hey, I'm trying to have a drink What here. do you want? You they say the warrior you. cast is hosting approving so the Grey Wardens can look for candidates. Hey, I was saving that seat. That's real thoughtful, Ascaius. It's tiring work looking for you. How do you know my name? I don't know what you're talking about. You probably have the wrong Ascaya, see? I just got here this morning. I'm usually on the surface and... So you're not the turncoat two-faced swindling duster Barat told us about. I never did anything. Barat's got no reason to send you after me. You mean, you're not here to kill me? Look, I-I always been loyal to Barat. He's been good to my family. I-I know how much I owe him. I haven't. I, I wouldn't. I do have some lyrium ore. I have a little deal with one of the mining families. If it worked out, I was gonna bring Barat his cut, I swear. I I'd be crazy not to. Suicidal, one might say. Just a little. Maybe 25 sovereigns worth. 25 sovereigns? Most of that's with my buyers on the surface. I just picked up a few nuggets down here. If I were to maybe give you a piece, that's, that's, that's a lot of coin. Could you uh, forget to mention this to Barat? Not long. I mean, I'm not cheating him. I mean, this is my first time. Oh, please don't kill me. Surfacers pay good coin for lyrium. Mages up there, they use it for their spells. Smiths use it in, in enchanted weapons. I just took the money and ran. I mean, I mean, back to Barat to share the profits. I've got a lot of lyrium. Maybe we could work something out. Share and share alike? I, I I don't got any coin myself. I, I make that topside, but you can take the ore, sell it, maybe get enough to get out of this nest. What do you say?
With pleasure. Could everyone who isn't about to die please turn around for a moment? This may be unpleasant. Thank you. Y you can't do this! Help! Call the guardsmen! This is murder! You two let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the back. It's, it's just a bunch of rocks. You're gonna kill me for that? Then let me go. Tell Barat you killed me. I can run to the surface. He's never got to hear of me again. I'll give you the lyrium. Do whatever you want with it. Give it to Barat. Sell it yourself. I don't care. I I'll get out of the business. Open a, a dry goods shop. He'll never know I'm still alive. Please. What would you want if it was you? He won't. I swear. You'll never see me in Orzammar again. Thank you. You're as noble as you are strong. May the ancestors bless your steps. Was that smart? If Verat finds out Oskaius ran, he'll kill you. He'll kill me. He'll make you. Kill me, then yourself. Then he'll probably stew us and serve us to the poor. We should bring Barat Delirium, as proof of what Ascaius was doing. Hmm. What are you two doing back here? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Just don't touch anything if you can't meet the price. The king is old. His rule won't hold much longer. Prince Balin seems far more sympathetic to our interests than Trian. Balin has some tastes of his own that he knows I can provide. We'll finish this later. It's about time you two showed up. What happened with Ascaius? What kind of rod are you trying to feed me? He told us he'd be putting together a side deal for Lyrium, but he'd already sold it. Jarvia, send a dig troop topside. If Ascaius had a hiding spot up there, I want us up to our elbows in it. As you say. And the matter of punishment? Absolutely. Dead as a plate of chops. Screaming for mercy, telling the ancestors to bless your name. Real, real dead. Very interesting. Seeing how my cousin was at the Tapsters this afternoon. And he says he saw something change hands between you and Ascaius. And then the Duster Sodding stood up and walked out on his own two feet. Does that sound like what I asked? Jarvia, what does that sound like to you? Sounds like some jumped-up face brands thought they could take a bribe and let him walk free. That's just not right. The lady says it's not right. You wouldn't disagree with a lady, would you? Right. I mean, no one's gonna say spit to you, Barat. But we can't move that free. We needed to get Oskaya somewhere private. We took him to the lava sinks behind the mines. You won't be seeing him again. Hmm. I don't like you making me look weak, but it's smart to try to keep the sword cast from asking questions. That's why I like you two. Now I got something else for you. Make some use of your unique skills. Oh, 
it's touching. Oh wait, I forgot. I don't care. The Warrior cast is hosting a proving today. All the best fighters, last man standing, you know the sort of thing. They're showing off for some Grey Warden who's looking for candidates to drag off to a life of eternal glory. Now, it's not often we get every name fighter in Orzammar lined up like that. And I have certain acquaintances who take an interest in this sort of thing. Topsiders see a couple of darkspawn, they start crying and running to Papa Orzammar. They know dwarves are the best when it comes to darkspawn. So they're here to recruit a couple of bodies to prevent another blight. Because why should humans have to live with what we get every day? Then learn to sodding read. All you should care about is who wins that fight. There's a lot of coin to be made when people get the fever up. Favorite fighter's an officer named Minar, veteran of four Darkspawn campaigns. Hevaird's a long shot, just got back from a deep roads offensive. Some young buck who has all the ladies drooling. I've got a lot of money riding on him. Mine and other people's. I expect to see that eight to one pay off. Understand? It'll be in the big arena north of the commons. Normally castless aren't allowed on the grounds, but I got you a pass. It says you're there to clean up the waste trenches, not to watch the fights, so don't look conspicuous. He'll be in the fighters' quarters under the stands. He should have an alcove for his pre-fight preparations. All the fighters are provided basins of water. If you're asking how to sneak in there, you're pretty much saying you're no good to me. I'm not asking you to distill it, just drop it into a basin. That's all you need to know. He's the kind of warrior who wants to show off his oiled physique to a cheering crowd. You think he wants scum like us making money on him? Don't let him know what you're doing. Just find his chamber, see when he's fighting, then go to Minor and dump the drug. The fight only gets announced to contestants themselves to prevent illegal gambling. So first, you'll have to find a Verd, see who he's fighting and when. When the name Minor comes up, I want you to slip this drug into the bastard's water. It'll slow his reflexes, just enough to take the edge off, not enough to show. But it wears off quickly, so don't use it until just before his fight. You bet you will. Here's your pass to get on the grounds. The proving starts as soon as the clock strikes. And when I say I have coin on this, I'm not talking about some pittance, like the value of your life. If I don't see a Verd's name on the winner's sheet, you'd better make sure I never see you or your sister ever again. You ask too many questions. All you've got to know how to say is, I, mistress. Go to the Proving, make sure his fighter wins. Look for a Verd in his pre-fight chamber. Find out who he's fighting, and if it's Minar, use the drug to make sure he won't be a problem. If this is too tough for you, I'm sure we can find something that suits you better. All you need to know is that I'm Barat when Barat's not here, and I'm getting mighty impatient. Not nearly soon enough. You ask too many questions. All you've got to know how to say is, I, mistress. You don't recognize me? You know Jarvia, right? Barat's favored lieutenant and the only person he trusts in all of Orzammar. You know that, Jarvia. I think it's way past time we were going. Just don't smile on you, Jarvia. Get out!
please, I told you everything I know. Just leave me alone. You again. I said you weren't allowed on the Proving Grounds, Brand. I think what my friend meant to say is we have passes to clean the trenches between bouts, see? He, uh, took a few too many kicks to the head as a training stand-in, you know. Hmm. Looks legitimate. Go on through, then. But stay to the trenches. Grey Wardens don't need some eyesore getting between them and the fighters. Did you see that first bout? Our star's helmet practically shattered. Adalbo still has the ancestor's favor. Stone's embrace. That's one of them. One of the Grey Wardens. Hmm. Oh, I dare you to go over and talk to him. Say, welcome to Orzammar, Warden, sir. May I drink your bathwater? Stone met and blessings on your house. That was the proper greeting for an outsider last time I visited Orzammar. Has it changed, or is there a reason you're looking at me so strangely? We do the same in my part of Ferelden. Hello, then. My name is Duncan. I'd say of the Grey Wardens, but I suspect you already know that. Pleased to meet you. Ah, of course. That's what the face brand means, then. I remember that now. The Wardens are always looking for those who have the courage to spend their lives in battle against the Darkspawn. It's rare we find those with both the skill and the will. The best Wardens are ruthless to their enemies, compassionate to their friends, and inspiring to their troops. It's a lot to look for, but I hope to find it here. And I hope you also may find what you are looking for. He's stone drunk. He could draw a dead man for his bout and still lose. <laughs> Barat's gonna kill us if we slip up here. He's already jumpy enough after that stunt with Ascaius. Hey, I just had an idea. So, you've been rubbing my nose and how you're the meanest thing with a blade, right? If Aird's armor is over there, and you're about the same size. You've got a heart of steel, Salraka. Get in the armor. Bout three is next. Officer Minar versus the warrior of Erd. Fighters, report to the ring. No more time. Make sure you have everything and go tell the Proving Guard you're ready to fight. And don't forget to keep your helmet down. All right.
stone met, Averd. I believe it is time for your bout. May fortune favor your fight, Averd. Are you ready? As you say. This is a glory proving, fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Ozomar, for our honored guests, the Grey Wardens. The warrior Everd, son of Galton, will fight Officer Minar, survivor of the battle at Kar Elerin. You honor me with this fight. May the stone show the boldest heart through the strongest arm. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Yes. Nice try. Hmm. That won't stop me. A truly memorable fight. The young cadet vanquishes the wily veteran. Healer, see to his injuries. The warrior Everd, son of Galton, will fight last year's journeyman division champion, Adalbo, proven in glory before the stone. You honor me with this fight. May we both win glory in the eyes of our lords. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! <laughs> 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 Too fast for you. <laughs> the winner is... Evad! The ancestors have withdrawn their blessings and embrace a new champion on their field. The warrior Evad, son of Galton, will fight Lenka, silent sister in training. She has made her vows, but not completed her blooding. Will she be accepted into the legendary order? That will depend on her performance today. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Hmm. Joking? Surely you're joking. The winner is... Evad! Linka went to the stone without a sound, as befits her vows. But it wasn't hard to see the blood that was spilled. Everd will advance to the final bout to determine the true champion of the ring against... What? It's my bout already? Hey! That's my armor! Who are you? How dare you disrupt this sacred... Wait, I know that man. That's Everd. Then what imposter did I fight? Remove your helmet, warrior, and let all who watched you see your face.
Your skills are impressive, but you are one man. Show yourself, lest I call the guards and have them do it for you. Insult the very nature of this proving! Guards, take this filth away! Hold your man, I pray you. This warrior has defeated the best you have to offer. Is that not what this proving is for? We are honored by your presence, Warden. But this proving is not solely for you. There are laws which have governed this arena for a thousand years. This man is no warrior! He is castless, rejected by the ancestors. His very footsteps pollute the stone. He has no place here. Except as your champion. Are you awake yet? Psst. Can you hear me? How hard did they sodding hit you anyway? Did you have to put up such a fight? As soon as everyone saw your face, Brand, the place went mad. Shut all the doors. Examined everyone for family and caste. One of the guards recognized me and figured we must be working together. They burned three candles to the stump interrogating me about who put us up to this. I think they knew, you know, about Barat. You think I didn't look for a way out? Rika's not the only one in danger here. They could kill us. But these cells are built straight into the wall, and they confiscated all my lockpicks. What's it look like on your side? You see any way out? Good. You're awake. Barat will be glad to hear that. You might want to watch your words, Duster. They might be the last ones you'll get. That's Jarvia, you moron. Don't dig us in deeper by insulting Barat's top lieutenant. You caused a lot of trouble today. Barat lost a hundred sovereigns for Lord Volney. The entire proving was declared invalid, and the Assembly already called for an investigation. You can't imagine the state Barat was in when he told me to get you. You're not in their cells anymore. And I don't think I appreciate the time and money it took to bribe the right people to get you back. You've got every guardsman at that proving thinking if he takes your head off, the ancestors will bless him forever. But they know whose hand holds the whip. When Barat claimed you, they knew who's going to get to watch your last breath. You risked exposing him before the entire warrior cast. Now they're asking questions, and as long as you have tongues to answer them, you're a threat. Enjoy your last night together, boys. Barat will be by soon to make sure you maintain your silence. Leave off with your noise. You're giving me a headache. I don't know. I, I, 
I'm, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Mistress Jarvia, she said wait here till the boss gets back. Oh, you're probably just upset. I remember one time when Mistress Jarvia was mad at me. She didn't lock me up, but she yelled a lot. And she hit me on the head. But it was real nice of her not to kill me. Going. Not enough. Yes. If we want to get away with this, we can't leave one man alive to tell Barat what we've done. Hmm. All right. Don't look now. Yes. Hmm.
Time for more practice. <laughs> All right, I'm game. All right. I'm cutting the whore free. If that turncoat brother of hers doesn't know his place, I don't need precious Rika either. Rika? That the one you got all done up in lace? I've been wanting to get my hands on that. Heh. <laughs> I know what you mean. She's yours if you want her, boys. And let me tell you, it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> What in sod all is that doing out of its cage? Let's teach this little duster a lesson. Ha! Let's wipe Pick them out quickly! Uh, that won't stop uh, you. If you insist, uh, I'll amuse you. Uh, 
Charged in and sodding slaughtered him. You have to be the luckiest duster in Orzammar. Barat's dead, and we're standing here. Hail to the sodding king! Well, he sure was talking like she's still alive. But I won't turn down the chance to go take another peek. Hey, could you tell Rika I killed him? I mean, it doesn't do you any good if she thinks you're the most virile warrior in all the stone. An excellent point. Now let's go find somewhere to hide. Hmm. You're not supposed to be here. Wait, is that blood? Ancestors, protect me! There they are! Seize the fugitives! Drop your weapons and walk down slowly. We will use force if you resist. He's dead? Barat had many enemies, but also powerful allies. They... Barat would have butchered us if he hadn't killed him first. Your friend has once again demonstrated his courage. We Grey Wardens travel far and wide in search of those with the potential to join our ranks. It seems I have found one. Let me make my offer formal. I, Duncan of the Grey Wardens, extend the invitation for you to join our order. This man is a criminal. You can't do this. I can, and I am. It would mean traveling to the surface lands and thus leaving your people, but it does offer you the chance to strike a blow against the Darkspawn and the Blight. While it is no trick, it is a dangerous life. I can promise you no guarantee of safety. I can also give you nothing in return for these hazards. In joining me, you leave all you know behind. And I see your friend would like to speak to you as well. Why don't you see what they have to say before you give your final answer? Those guys must have seriously cracked your skull. You're not gonna turn down being a Grey Warden, are you? Well, don't you worry about that. Old Lesky will take care of her. Oh, if wishes only made it so, Solraka. But think about it. We killed Barad. You think his family will still trade with us? We'd need to build up the whole thing from scratch. And plenty more folks will be coming after us. And I'm not talking single combat. 
I'm talking armies. No, Duster. If you stay here, you're more likely to end up on the headsman's block than sitting pretty in Barat's estate. Everyone in that proving fought Darkspawn, and you sure flogged them. I went up one time for Barat. It's real bright. She can hardly see anything, and everything smells funny, like food instead of stone. But a city's a city, and up there, no one cared about the brand on my face. We'll go back and tell him yes before he comes to his senses. I couldn't believe it when Sir Duncan said he wanted to recruit you. I was ready to kill you when I heard what you did at the Proving. But it worked out for the best. Those are the rules of the Order. All Wardens leave their families behind. You have to go. You'll never have a better opportunity. As a Warden, you'll be the equal of anyone in the Noble Houses. Please don't hold yourself back because of me. I think, for the first time, Mother and I will be fine. I spent the afternoon with my new patron. If everything works out, maybe I can even greet you as an equal if you return. Yes. He calls me his Amber Rose. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? He has a voice like a poet. He has already promised to move Mother and me into better lodging, where he can find me more quickly when he wants me. I am. Truly. I could never make a life fighting Darkspawn. But if I can bear a son who makes his house proud, that's all I can ask. Go, little brother. Make the world a better place. It's time for you to go. A new life awaits you. If you leave now, I will not be able to protect you. The gods will jump at any opportunity to put you to death. You know that. If you wish to say your goodbyes, do so quickly. Have you spoken with your friend and sister? Then before these witnesses, I hereby recruit you into the Grey Wardens. Know that you are most welcome. Before we brave the deep roads, I would like to make you a gift of this mace, since you have so few possessions of your own. It was once wielded by the Warden Foral Idukan. I believe he was related to your king. I know you will continue his proud example. Goodbye, my friends, and thank you for your hospitality. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together, after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name?
Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemar. Sounds like there's a story behind that. You must regale me with it sometime. I do. I'll make sure to have the finest dwarven brew brought up from the palace cellars. After we've dealt with the blight, of course. I've been to Orzammar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Huh. Still, I hope to be as wise and fair a ruler as Endrin. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do... I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Absolutely. We sent a call to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, and hope they will reach us before the Archdemon does. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to.